Hey, you're getting pretty good at that, Stacy. Yes. What makes the marble go round? Well, there's a little dip in the paper plate at the edge, and then the marble's forced to that, and then I just give it a little push and it starts. And it starts round, okay. Using the same kind of paper plate, here's a little puzzle for you. Okay. I'm gonna do the same thing, give the marble a push like this so it's going around the edge of the plate. What will happen when the marble comes to where there is no more plate? Will it go off like that? Will it go straight like that? Or will it continue to curve like that? I think it will curve, but not go back onto the paper plate. Why do you think that? Well, because the paper plate is, is curved right here, mm -hmm. so it should Should curve. have some curve? Yeah. Okay, you watch what happens to it. Okay. Went straight. How come? Whoops, I gave it a little too much of a bump and bumped the side. Yes, it went straight. But it curved just a little bit. Well, not really. It's supposed to go absolutely uh -huh. straight. Have you ever heard of the, the, the rule that when something is traveling, it will continue to travel in a straight line unless some kind of force moves it out of the straight line? No, I haven't. Okay, well, that's a, a standard physical law for anything that's in motion. Why does the marble curve? You told me that before. Because the edge of the plate was pushing right. it, right? Okay, when you don't have the edge of the plate to push it anymore... And there's nothing to make it curve. Nothing to make it curve, so it's going to go straight. Oh. Now, that same idea we're going to try with with this. Okay. See, here's a piece of pipe. Yeah. And on the string on the other end, there's a spool. Here, you hold that. All right. If you, if you drop it down, it's much heavier, right? Yes. Yet you and I are going to work it out so that that spool will support this great big weight. How? Based, based on that same idea. All we need is a pair of scissors and come on outside. Let's go. I'll give you. I'll show you how it works. Okay. Okay, Stacy. That ought to be good enough. Okay. Now you're right-handed, right? Yeah. Okay. Here, take this in your right hand and hold this weight in your left hand. Okay. Okay. Now, see if you can get the spool spinning above your head in a horizontal circle, and then let go of the weight. Okay. Okay. Oh, there. Go. What's happening? Well, just a minute. Um, the weight, the the spool is keeping the weight up. Yes, in spite of the fact. Remember, we said the spool is is not nearly as heavy no, as the it isn't. as the weight. Now, how did that compare to the marble? Where's the marble? The spool's the marble. Right. And where's the plate? The string's the plate. Yes, the string is the plate. Now, remember when we cut the plate off? Yeah, it, the marble went in a straight line. The marble line. went in a straight line. Well, this time, this is no longer going to be the marble. This is going to be a satellite. Okay. And what's going to hold the satellite into orbit? This, the gravity. Gravity, which is represented by the string, right? Right. Actually, this weight, gravity pulling down on it. Oh, okay. okay. Now, uh, in a real satellite, if you want to launch it and get it to go outer space, you give it enough force to get out of the force of gravity. In this case, we can cut the force of gravity right there, can't we? With the scissors in your back pocket? Right, take the scissors off. Okay, I can see why you didn't want to do this in the house. Yes, it could fly around, break a window. Yeah. Are you ready to get rid of the force of gravity? Yeah. What's going to happen to the spool? I don't know where it's going to go, but it's going to go in a straight line. <laughs> right, okay, cut it. Over there. <laughs> 